Hi, my name is Byron Martin here at Logis, and today we're going to be talking about the Meyer lemon, Citrus Limon or Meyeri. The Meyer lemon is a hybrid between the table lemon and the sour orange, and originated in China and came to the U.S. at the turn of the last century. In order to grow Meyer lemons, we need to look at their cultural requirements, the first being light. And like all citrus, they really prefer a bright, sunny exposure. In a home situation, we would grow them in a south window, east or west window, and during the summertime, put them outside in a full sun exposure. They also are quite tolerant, as far as lemons go, to temperatures, meaning that they can take it colder than many lemons, even below freezing a little bit. But generally, our recommendation is to grow them above freezing into the 60s as a nighttime temperature. The next thing we look at in growing the lemons is what kind of potting mix are we going to plant them in. And generally, for most citrus, Meyer lemons included, a standard soilless potting mix works fine. And that's peat moss, perlite, vermiculite, oftentimes bark, a little compost is added. Most of our citrus are grown in what we consider a soilless mix. And this mix is very well drained, has good air porosity to it. And that leads us to the next part of growing citrus, which is keeping our roots healthy. And root health is the primary um, objective in growing citrus once we have the proper light level. Because most citrus that collapse in pots or die in pots, it's due to either lack of watering, complete lack of watering, or it's due to root disease. Next in growing Meyer lemons is fertilizer. And plants that are grown in containers, or plants that are grown in the ground, but plants that are grown in containers do need to be fertilized by the gardener. And it is really a seasonal process. Generally, uh, starts in the spring when we get a flush of new growth. Um, much of this, um, on this plant right here, the new growth has started to uh, flush. So the root system is active. The plant's going back into a flowering cycle. It's time to start feeding. And fertilizer can be given as a liquid in your irrigation water, where you give a small amount of um, soluble salt fertilizers or it can be done by top dressing, either a slow release fertilizer, which are the pearls that we um, often find, or my favorite is using an organic granular, which you'll take a handful of that and simply sprinkle it on the top of the pot and allow that fertilizer to leach in. On organic fertilizers, it might be done once a month. On soluble fertilizers, you might do it once a week or every two weeks. And this is carried on through the entire growing season until we hit late summer, early fall, and then we start restricting it. And that restriction is what's going to allow the plant to harden up. The growth itself on the foliage side is going to harden up, but also the root system will um, harden up as well, which will give you uh, better wintering under um, the home condition. So springtime is generally the time when citrus flower. Meyer lemons are no different, although they are different in that they can flower off season also. We see flowers on most of our lemons throughout the year, but in the springtime they come into a heavy flush of bloom. Here's a cluster of flowers up here. They really, we often get asked, do they need to have cross-pollination? The answer is no. Um, do they need to be pollinated by in insects in order for us to set fruit? The answer is no. Um, certainly um, air movement, or if you want to take the time, you can rub the tips of the flowers with your fingers. And in fruiting citrus, the strength of the plant, the health of the plant and the strength of the plant is what will determine how many fruit this plant will actually hold. So if our root system is healthy and we have good light conditions on it and we have our fertilizer and our water is regulated right, then plants like this, which is one of our old stock plants, can hold many, many lemons over a period of time. Meyer lemons can be grown in most areas, either inside or in subtropical areas outside in the ground. And here in Connecticut, we're in zone five and six. That gets much too severe a winter for growing Meyer lemons outside. In areas where there's only a little bit of frost, that would be zone nine, they do fine as outdoor plants. Thank you for watching this video on Meyer lemons. It has a little bit of information on how to grow them successfully. If you have any more interest, you can go to our website at logis.com.